uh, thank you uh, all for coming. Um, I woke up at 2 o'clock this morning, as I have done for the last week, preparing a combination of the speech at Gettysburg, uh, <laughs> Churchill at the Battle of Britain, and uh, Lincoln on the abolition of slavery. <laughs> and at 10 o'clock this morning, I realized none of this was necessary. Um, you all know the story, and I don't need to rehearse it with you or for you. Five years ago, a bus marked Friends of Kevin Myers stopped in the middle of the Irish landscape, and half the people who were on that bus got off. And I've never seen them since. But the remarkable thing about that day was as many people got on the bus as got off. <laughs> and that bus has been progressing through Irish life until it drew up outside this restaurant an hour ago. <laughs> and here you all are. And every one of you, without exception, is here because you turned to me and offered me the hand of friendship in the worst moment of my life. And I cannot tell you that that deed, those deeds of charity, those acts of kindness, cannot be rewarded by anything I am doing for you here today. Anything you get, you deserve. So I'm not going to talk to you anymore. I want you to sit down, enjoy a meal of celebration, and bear two things, or sorry, three things in mind. I want you to take a glass, I don't, to friends, to freedom of speech, and fuck the lynch mob. <laughs> friends, friends, freedom of speech, fuck the On July 31st, 2017, Morning Ireland introduced an item that suggested that Kevin Myers was a Holocaust denier. This was untrue and defamatory of Mr Myers' character. Morning Ireland acknowledges that Mr Myers has, for over three decades, repeatedly testified to the scale and wickedness of Hitler's final solution. Maureen Ireland acknowledges the damage done to Mr Myers' reputation. We regret this and unreservedly apologise.